Okay, welcome to today's video. We've been working on our Super Mario AI object detection, which you can see running on the screen right now. We've been using traditional methods uh, such as uh, match template, you know, finding pixels on the screen to do this. And I actually want to shift gears. So this is a great entry point if you're just joining. If you've been following along, this is also going to be uh, good for you. So this is a great entry point for anyone. We're going to switch gears and we're going to start developing a neural network or what's also known as a CNN, convolution neural network, which is the type of neural network that's used for image processing, for understanding what's in an image. Now this is actually going to be a really big jump from what we've been working on guys. So get ready, buckle up and get ready to have fun. Now it's a little bit challenging to get started with developing neural networks. There's actually a lot to learn. First, we're going to have to set up some tooling on your system, which I'm going to walk through with you very clearly right now. We're going to walk through how to set it up. After we set it up, it's also going to take some trial and error and some playing to understand how to, to actually train a neural network and query a neural network. So there's actually quite a bit to do, but this is going to teach you a lot, a, le a ton of stuff about tooling, training and querying a, a neural network. But before we get started with our setup, I want to very quickly explain what a neural network is for anybody that's brand new so that you can understand what we are going to do over the next couple of videos. So let's get started. Let's look at what is a neural network. Okay, first, why is it called a neural network? Well, as you can imagine, a neural network sounds like a brain and that's exactly what it is. Our brain is made up of neurons that communicate to each other and when we think about something or have a thought, it's an electrical signal that travels through neurons and it, they start to do what's called firing. So this neuron connects to that neuron, that neuron connects to that one, and it fires through our brain. So a neural network is essentially a mathematical model that kind of is similar to a brain. We call it a neural network because it consists of things that are kind of like neurons in our brain nodes that connect to one another and when one node is activated it can cause another node to activate so it's kind of cool it's kind of like a synthetic brain you can think of it that way and you might be wondering well how could we possibly turn this into something that can understand images and we're this is going to be just extremely high level so don't worry if you don't understand what we're looking at here but this is a picture of a car and our goal is to create a neural network that can actually understand what's in a picture. So in this case, understand what's in the car. Our project, we wanted to understand where is Mario, where is the turtle. Actually develop, you can kind of think of it as understanding of what those objects are. And you can think about yourself, why do you know that this is a car? What, what causes you to understand that that's a car? Well, you probably see certain features that pop out at you like wheels and a door and windows and a grill. And that's exactly what's going to happen as we train our neural network. It's going to actually create what's called features. This is, these are called feature maps. Now we're not going to we're not going to really look at these, but I really want you to understand it conceptually what's happening as we do this. These feature maps are essentially mathematical uh, equivalencies of, of objects, and they start as low-level features, which are essentially just maybe lines and gradients. But you can see that as the model becomes more sophisticated and as the learning gets deeper with deeper and deeper layers, we start to actually extract features that are things like wheels and grills and steering wheels. It's incredible. So that is how a neural network works in a, you know, you take all that information and compact it into a nutshell. It's a mathematical model that takes an image and can extract the features that differentiate objects. What makes this a car? The wheels, the tires, the windows. It can extract those features and understand what that object is. So that is what a neural network is in a very small nutshell. Okay, next I want to explain what are the high level steps that are required to do this. And there's basically four. The first step is we need to extract our data. We need to provide our training data to train our model. And that's really simple. In our case, that's just going to be screenshots from Super Mario Brothers. Each of these images contains the information that we need in order to teach a computer what is Mario, what is a pipe. 
So that is our raw data. Okay, the second thing we need to do is we need to take that raw data and we need to provide a way of telling our model where the objects are in the image. And in our case, we're gonna use Label Studio, which is a tool that will allow us to annotate our images, provide information to the model about where the objects are. Now, it's not magic. We're gonna talk about it later, but essentially, we're just providing the data points that provides an outline of where the objects are in the scene so that the model can start to learn where is Mario because it now knows where Mario is in the scene and we can provide it with many images so it can learn. Okay, and then the third step is we actually do the training. The training is where the model is actually learning and we will explain how that happens later. But essentially we're gonna take all of our labeled data and we're gonna feed it into our model and our model is gonna look at the input versus the output and it's gonna to start to learn and start to modify the neurons until it actually develops an understanding of what's in the image. And then similarly, the last step, the fourth step is where we actually query our model. That's where we put images in, we put in new images like this one where it's never seen before and we check, does our model give us the output that we want? And we actually start to use our model. So those are the four steps, very simple. In a, conceptually, we just have to get some data, we have to annotate our data, we have to train our model, and then we have to actually execute the model, actually query it, test it. So let's get started.